Hey everybody, in this video, we're going to learn about the first derivative test. The first derivative test is a tool that we can use to find the relative maxima and minima on a function. And here's what it says. Suppose f of x is a continuous function and has a critical point at x equals c. If f prime of x changes from negative to positive at x equals c, then f of x has a relative minimum at x equals c. And if f prime of x changes from positive to negative at x equals c, then f of x has a relative maximum at x equals c. And finally, if f prime of x does not change signs at x equals c, then f of x has a plateau point at x equals c. Let's do some examples to see how this works. Example 1. Find the x values of the local maxima and minima of f of x, where f of x equals x cubed over 3 plus x squared over 2 minus 2x plus 3. Here's a graph of f of x, and we can see that it has a local maximum and a local minimum. To apply the first derivative test, we need to find the first derivative, which is x squared plus x minus 2. Then we'll set this to 0 and solve for x, and we get x equals negative 2 and x equals 1. In green, I've shown the graph of the first derivative, and we can see that the zeros are at x equals negative 2 and x equals 1. Now we can see that the zero at x equals negative 2 corresponds to a local maximum on the graph of f of x. Note that the slope of f of x changes from positive to negative at x equals negative 2. And this means the derivative changes from positive to negative at x equals negative 2. We can also see that the zero at x equals 1 corresponds to a local minimum on the graph of f of x. On the graph of f of x, the slope changes from negative to positive at x equals 1. And this means that the derivative changes from negative to positive at x equals 1. Now we can make conclusion statements. f of x has a local maximum at x equals negative 2 because f prime of x changes from positive to negative at x equals negative 2. And f of x has a local minimum at x equals 1 because f prime of x changes from negative to positive at x equals 1. Before we do another example, let's first review the idea of critical points. Remember, the critical points of a function are x values where the derivative is 0 or does not exist. Keeping that in mind, let's do example 2. Find the x values of the local maxima and minima of f of x, where f of x equals x to the 2 thirds plus 1. Let's start by taking the first derivative and finding the critical points. f prime of x equals 2 thirds x to the minus 1 third, which equals 2 over 3 x to the 1 third. Here we can see that the derivative does not exist at x equals 0. That means x equals 0 is a critical point. Since we don't have a picture of the graph of f of x or f prime of x, what we'll do is draw a number line and we'll place x equals 0 on the number line. Then we need to determine the sign of f prime of x to the left and right of x equals 0. If we pick any number to the left of x equals 0 and plug it into f prime of x, the result will be negative. And if we pick any number to the right of x equals 0 and plug it into f prime of x, the result will be positive. So now we can make a conclusion. f of x has a local minimum at x equals 0 because f prime of x changes from negative to positive at x equals 0. Here's a graph of f of x, and we can see that f has a local minimum at x equals 0, just as we confirmed from the first derivative test. Let's do one more example. Find the x values of the local maxima and minima of f of x, where f prime of x equals x squared times the quantity of x minus 1. Now this is an interesting problem because we don't have the f of x function, but since we know f prime of x, we can use the first derivative test. So what we need to do is find the critical points by setting the derivative equal to 0 or determining where it does not exist. And the critical points are x equals 0 and x equals 1. And I've put them on a number line because we need to determine the sign of f prime of x to the left of 0, between 0 and 1, and to the right of 1. So pick any number to the left of x equals 0 and plug it into f prime of x. When we do this, the sign is negative. And we'll pick any number between 0 and 1 and plug this into f prime of x. And when we do this, the sign is also negative. Then we'll pick any number to the right of 1 and plug it into f prime of x. When we do this, the sign is positive. Now we can make conclusions. 
f of x has a plateau point at x equals zero because f prime of x does not change signs at x equals zero. And f of x has a local minimum at x equals one because f prime of x changes from negative to positive at x equals one. And here's a graph of f of x where we can see a plateau point at x equals zero and a local minimum at x equals one as we confirmed with the first derivative test. Well, that's it for now. I hope you understand how to use the first derivative test. And that's how you rock calculus!